I'm Esmond and uh, welcome to this uh, video series on creating web maps using QGIS. So we will be focusing on how one takes one's QGIS data and maps and make them available online for our people to see. Um, there's lots of different options that um, for doing this. Um, we will only cover some of them. In the, this first year, we will cover all apart from those last two. So we will be talking about how we just simply take a layout from our, our map design from QGIS, uh, export it as an image, place it somewhere on the web. Then we will be talking about exporting what's called JavaScript, which is a the language, the programming language that web browsers use. So how we can create a piece of program code that enables a web browser to read map data and display map data. And we'll specifically be focusing on using uh, two libraries, open layers and leaflet. I've named these serverless. That's not because that you don't need a web server, but it's because there will be no geodata server behind it. All the all, all the information will be handled by JavaScript. So we just need somewhere that we can place and execute, or where we can place our JavaScript. The JavaScript is executed on the client browser, so on the browser that is looking at the data. So we just need somewhere to put that on the net and then people can make more or less interactive um, web maps. After that, we will be looking at using web map portals. There is a series of um, portals or sites that are dedicated to generating maps. We will be looking at Car2DB. There is also ARCGIS.com, um, which can do much of this, but it's primarily meant for people using ArcMap or ArcGIS. So we will leave that out, but if um, you at a later point start using ArcGIS, then remember that the ArcGIS.com is a very good web portal, um, can do some very fancy things, and can also do um, mobile device-based data collection. So it's, um, it's a very advanced site to use, but primarily you need uh, really a ARC GIS um, to use it fully. And then of course there's good old Google Maps. Um, we started this course with generating um, KML files in Google Maps and today we will put some KML files back on Google Maps. Then Google has another offering for people wanting to do maps which is fusion tables. Fusion tables are some strange hybrid between being a database and a spreadsheet and can do some very nifty small things. So we'll be talking about fusion tables. And in a later video series, we'll be talking about how we can leverage what is called D3, so data-driven documents, um, that uh, JavaScript library for doing um, some uh, interactive maps where we can make pop-up graphs and things like that. And we'll also talk about how we can start using um, geo-servers. So when I said this was serverless up here, then in this advanced things we'll start using the backend servers to be able to produce every bit more um, comprehensive maps. The problem with many of these solutions until we start using a backend server, is that we really can't put very much data there. Um, it's simply not fast enough. So we need to have some form of backend in order to have a reliable way of working with it. So these two are for a later video series where we will be looking at that. 